the first time we saw Ray Rugg wearing Timberlands in the summer, shit, we laughed at him. We thought he was crazy. A couple months later, he had all our country asses out there rocking the fly. I need something to land on. No stage, give me a milk crate to stand on. Early 90s, walking around with big pants on. Arms in my hoodie, trying to keep my hands warm. Posted up in front of the stove. Nothing to do, nowhere to go. Start building. We'll kill boredom with time. We post it up right under the no order and sign. Long Wildin'. I'm talking New York slick. Stand the high. hood trying to say we on New York shit. That was the 90s. Everybody was on some New York shit. That was day era. Let them folks have a time. Stop blocking. Let them folks have a shine. See, my people move from Queens, Harlem, and Staten Island. Move to the south where ain't nobody smiling. It's our hood. Welcome to the turf. Moving to the dirt. So welcome to the dirt. New York taught me how to brag. Swag is I remember being in the school, y'all. And my man Ray and James had just moved down from up top. And I was trying to get the sag on my pants right. Like this. They said, Yo, your pants too tight. You just sagging right at the ass. You gotta buy your pants big enough to where they sag all the way down. Even on the bottom, over your sneakers, with the tongue out. I said, oh, oh, I get I'm it. from the era. We just didn't listen to rhymes. Studied them. Really paid attention to rhymes. Outside, the grit and the grind. Hustling under the no soliciting signs. Guzzling, cheap licking wine. Corn store, selling nickels and dimes. Young folks, falling victim to crime at your funeral. Eating chicken and swine. The pistol of crime. When I think about it, it was the victory time. What? In prison to mind. Freedom. The blind leading the blind. Still we count. Jury to shine. The last day. At the end of the time. Cars. In the land of the ego. The drive by. Hanging out. Being in the schoolyard And my man Juwan and Hosey and them They was all sitting around and they was talking about the lessons Five percent lessons And I'm like, man, what they talking about? I said, I gotta get up on that They put me up on that grand pool when that brand new wins And I was hooked ever since I remember riding up the VA My man Ray Rugg took me up north for the first time We stopped by the Severos He said, this ain't... This official New York pizza right here. We ain't all the way up top, but he said, this is how you eat your pizza. He said, get you a slice. We bought him by the slice. I said, yeah. He said, you get your garlic, put your little pepper on there, and you put your Parmesan on there, right? I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. He said, but this is the kicker right here. I said, what's that? He said, you got to fold it. I said, you fold the pizza in half? He said, yeah. Cause all of the grease and the good juices and stuff right gonna get right there in the middle. So when you take that bite, that's how you eat a slice of pizza. I said, oh, I I I get it. Tell Ray Rugg to this day I still eat my pizza like that. Shout out to all my my real NYC brothers who came down and put the country boy up on game. <laughs> Everybody try to act like it didn't happen. The migration. Um. Yeah, if I could do yeah, more push-ups than y'all right now, Thank like, you, I, thank you, Aki. I appreciate you, I'm yes, from 139th Finland. Where you from, K? I'm from South Carolina. Oh, all right, Geechee, Liberace, yes, my sir, brother, yes, don't sir, shoot yes, me, sir. brother. I ain't gonna look. shoot you, dog. Look, I don't care if you give me on film or whatever, but at the end of the day, boss, come on.
has it, it, the only time it was black owned was in 1977. So wow, good teacher. Thank yeah. you. Nah, it's for y'all. You know, I need y'all. Yeah. You know, y'all take care. God bless well, you. Well, what I do so. in my city? Okay. Yeah, I got you. I'm going to follow you out. Good teacher. You're going to say, why are you lying? You taught him how to lie because you've been lying to us. So let's say the man of sin has to be revealed. That's why these atrocities are happening in America. Because we've been 60, excuse me, about 45 years, 50 years removed from so-called civil rights. And the conditions of black people have not changed in America at all. That's why this has to happen. Keep reading. 